In this video, I'm going to show you three different ways to resolve DNS issue in your computer. I am using a Windows 10 computer. The first method is by clearing your DNS cache. To clear your DNS cache, go to your command prompt, type in IP config flush DNS. Before even I flush this DNS, I will show you what does you have in the DNS cache. To look at DNS cache, type in display DNS. These are the records it has stored in your DNS cache. In case some of these records are old or stale records or bad corrupted one, you will be having some issue loading the page properly or your page is displaying you some old information. In that case, you go to IP config, flush DNS. You can see it successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you issue the same command, display DNS. You see there is nothing in the cache. Now when you try to open a page, it's going to go to your DNS server and pull the updated record and you will be able to load those page properly. The second method is your browser might have cached some old records. So it is not loading or updating the latest information from a web page. In that case, you can go to settings. It depends on what browser you are using and go to privacy and security and go to clear browsing data. And then you will see browsing history, cookies and other site data, cached images and file. If you clear all of them, you should be able to resolve your DNS issue. That means the page is not loading properly. It is somehow related to the DNS. Clear data. Now you cleared it. Now, when you try to reload the page, it should load properly. The third method is change the DNS server. For example, let me look at what is my DNS server right now. IP config all, and you can see my DNS servers are these ones. It has IPv6 and IPv4 ones. This is the IPv4 one. That is my local router. That means I am using my ISP provided router as the DNS hub. So it is going to go to my ISP for all the DNS queries. Sometimes my ISP DNS servers go down. It happened in the past. Or other times your ISP DNS server is not working properly or it's not pulling that information properly. In those cases, you can change the DNS server on your computer. To change your DNS server, go to the search and type in network and go to network status and go to change adapter option and make sure you change the DNS for the active adapter. Right now I'm using my Wi-Fi. Go to properties, go to IPv4, double click on that. You can leave the DSCP part as it is and go and change the DNS to Google. So I'm going to change that both of them to Google, this is the primary, this is the alternate DNS servers. Okay, now you are using the Google DNS server. I'm going to give you a fourth one, that is the bonus one, that is make sure your DNS resolver or your DNS client is running. Go to search, type in services, go to services and go to DNS client, this is the program that is running behind the scene to resolve all your DNS queries. This normally start with your computer. You cannot start or stop in the middle. If you look at here, you cannot start or stop this service. But if you look at this one, you can stop, you can restart, but you cannot restart DNS client after your computer restarted. This normally restart with your computer. So only way you can restart DNS client is restarting your computer. But make sure it is running. Somehow it is stopped. You better restart your computer to resolve your DNS issue. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification.